Did you know that if you are scheduled for surgery and then develop the flu, you may no longer be eligible to do the operation? Well, yes. And that is why consultant pediatric surgeon Dr. Noel McLennan is advising parents and guardians to vaccinate their children against the flu virus. TVJ Shamela Pullen has this evening's report. The health report. The flu season has been upon us for a few months. It ends in May, but beyond discomfort, it affects the timing of surgeries. Consultant pediatric surgeon Dr. Noel McLennan says the virus causes up to 50% of surgeries booked at the Bustamante Hospital for children to be cancelled each year. Right. The fact is that when children have the flu and when they are being anesthetized, that means they are being put to sleep for the operation, it causes the airway to be very active or hyperactive. In other words, it may trigger almost what seems like an asthmatic attack while the child is being put to sleep. And even when the child is being awakened from the anesthesia, it can also cause delay awakening or reawakening from the anesthesia. It means children have to wait for up to eight months to do surgeries. Fortunately, most times these surgeries are not emergencies. We're talking about hernias, circumcisions, um, surgeries even on the bowel uh, abdomen that are non-emergent that can safely wait for a week or two um, preferably three weeks just to give enough time for the child to overcome what is happening meanwhile dr mclennan is calling on parents and guardians to protect their child or children against the flu including getting a vaccine the flu vaccine may be given to um, to children um, six months and above. Um, it doesn't have to be an injection. It can be a nasal spray um, because that is more convenient and sometimes more acceptable for the child. So the flu vaccine will take care of most of the viruses that, uh, that, that tend to cause the flu in a particular season. With your health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you good health. The Health Report.